asset-based community development project known as ABCD has been running in Broad Green, Selhurst and Fulton Heath for eight months and is now coming to an end. The aim of the Community Connector project was to identify the skills, knowledge and potential within the community and its members. The project came out of the Social Recovery Fund and was aimed at those wards most badly affected by the riots in 2011. We successfully connected and supported the identified skills, assets, associations and people within these wards to develop 75 projects of which 60 received match funding to deliver their projects. We did this by encouraging new and deeper relationships and by inviting people to utilise their power as connected and caring citizens to work for the common good. A. It began with a community builder finding a handful of local people who are known by and who know their neighbours. These people we call connectors and their curiosity, energy, loyalty and kindness are the foundations upon which everything else was built. The community builder helped the connectors through training and support to weave the fabric of the neighbourhood together through hundreds of conversations with individuals, groups, informal clubs and other social networks. Care was taken to include people on the margins of the community and to seek out the invisible groups of people who share hobbies, maybe play cards or keep fit. C. These conversations focused on exchanges of positive regard and on uncovering people's strengths, stories, ideas, hopes, skills, passions and resources. This newfound source of wealth enabled the connectors to begin to understand exactly what it is that local people care enough about to work together to change. D. The community builder helped and held public events in each ward to give people a platform to form themselves into action and project groups, making sure that between them they have the commitment and all the skills they needed to succeed. The project groups once formed then applied for the match funding to deliver their projects. Lastly, they were then showed how to best exercise the collective power, for example, whether to take action themselves, to hold others accountable, or to withhold their consent via a group of practitioners forming a community of practice group. And finally, E, the examples of projects developed in partnership with the ABCD project included the Future of Croydon project in Broad Green, Music Literacy Club in Selhurst, and a support hub for young people and their parents in Fulton Heath. I'm Pamela Cumberbatch. I live in Valley Park. This is our area that we would like to create into a beautiful vegetable garden to encourage local young children, the elderly, people with disability and the local community to grow fresh vegetables for them to learn how to grow them and how to eat them, cook and eat them. We've been trying to get this space for over three years and it's been a long process but we're almost there, we're almost planting and cultivating the land. Local people have experience of gardening, growing their own vegetables in allotments. They have time and they have tools to come to help us with our project. The local children will be able to maintain this garden with the help of the, the elderly with, with experience and other people that have the time to um, help them to cultivate the land. Starting in June 2012, our asset-based community development project in three Croydon neighbourhoods has identified and strengthened human and physical assets by recruiting 25 adults and 10 children, 8 to 10 years, volunteer family connectors to harness the energies of local people to develop new social networks and pair support for families. The ABCD element has been working with a partner, Gingerbread Corner and family connectors have been identified through outreach which has included street discussions, meeting at places of worship, community networks, businesses, sports clubs and talks at AGMs, children's centres, youth clubs and schools assemblies. In total, community builders have attended and presented at 43 individual events. My name is Marcia Francis. I live in Thornton Heath, I'm local. I'm trying to develop two projects at the moment, one of which is um, to provide um, breakfast for school-aged children who go to school within the borough of Croydon. Um, I'm looking at sort of secondary school-aged children because we're talking to parents and 
doing some research, it seems that nursery schools um, and primary schools seem to be more well, so they're well catered for when it comes to breakfast, whereas a lot of the secondary schools don't seem to be providing that. So I would like to sort of, if I can find myself somewhere, to provide an early morning breakfast for those children, that would be really good, I think, for them. Yeah, I've had, um, I've had quite a few calls actually since um, last week. Uh, people offering to volunteer, which is really nice. Um, people offering to provide eggs or groceries to make breakfast. I've had people who are willing to come and help me serve breakfast. Um, in fact, help me cook the breakfast too. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of help out there. I talk to young people um, about having a breakfast provision on whether or not it's something they would use. And they were saying, yes, it, it seems very positive. They would be prepared to stop off before school and get something to eat. Um, and the range that would be provided was probably more than just a bacon roll, which is what most of them seem to be having at breakfast. This is not about creating a business and making money. This is about providing a service for the local community, which, you know, from what I gather is, is a service that's going to be needed. So it will be free at point of service. There's no charge whatsoever. The children won't be charged, their parents or guardians won't be charged. It's all about community. Initiative um, is um, where um, I provide support and advocacy for families where a young person's been excluded from school, um, whether fixed term, so for a few days or a week, or permanently. Um, and what my role is, is, is mainly to support and advocate for the young person and just to ensure that they've actually been excluded from school fairly and legally. Um, unfortunately, a lot of parents, not because, no, no fault of the parent, but parents don't seem to know the procedures surrounding exclusion and what is legal and what isn't. And unfortunately, within, within our borough, um, we're seeing more and more young people being excluded from school for reasons that, by law, the schools shouldn't be excluding them for. My role as, as an advocate is, number one, to, to make sure the young person's voice is heard. That's the most important thing. We need to find out exactly what led up to an exclusion, and the only way you can do that is, is to talk to the child and find out what happened. Um, as I said, parents aren't aware necessarily of, of the, the, the whys and the wherefores and the legalities of how exclusion is supposed to be done. My role is to make sure that they are aware of that and to support them in any way I can. And whether that means going into to meetings at schools, um, to sit down and, and go through the exclusion policy with them, that, that's what I want to do. We need to stop the, the, the rate of exclusions that are happening within the borough, particularly um, you know, amongst young black males, in fact, and they're three to four times more likely to be excluded from school than, than their peers, and that's something we need to put a stop to, hence my role as advocate. So I'd like to network with everyone here to see how we can all work together 
Euh, donc ça fera du côté de vous voir. Looking at what the skills and strengths are within the communities, we've heard them, them today. Organising and mapping, so we have maps we've seen around all the different kind of facilities and resources that exist in the areas, um, and starting to put people into contact with them and work with them as well. What the um, asset based community development approach is to build on the brilliant examples we've heard around the room. Uh, I had an idea which I've heard before about 18 months ago. science in schools <coughs> and we set this with a, a, a challenge to build a bridge and we give them a brief on how to build a bridge for the competition. My name is Jerome and I'm basically a young, I'm a young person who's a family connector, who's a family connector in the Silver area. My project is um, called the uh, Nelson John Chess Academy. The concept behind this whole academy um, in the first place was to, I would say, combat the, the unhealthy lifestyles of young people. So the main purpose of why I actually want to set up this project in the first place is to show young people that there are other ways and means of enjoying the most favorite meals without actually using loads of fat, loads of sugar, and, and like carbohydrates and fatty services. Um, my name is Alan Strongman. Uh, I live in the area, um, I've been there in England for the past 12 years. And for people, and there's, a, there's going to be a specific program for people with intolerances and allergies, to, um, so people, so everyone knows that they are catered for. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Alan Strongman, uh, I live in the area. So my project is called the Website Class, it's very simple class similar to every other class that you have in school but the difference about it is that um, you see your achievements straight away. Um, it's, it's, it's very simple, it's, uh, especially right now with this uh, you know, with the 2013 technology where everything is just with a click of a finger, you can customize and you can do anything to your website from your mobile device. And, um, and because we have this sort of power, I would like to leverage on it and introduce this sort of services to every, every home and to every child. And hopefully um, they would learn that there is a way of generating quick revenue just from a sweet, quick idea. I just feel that um, basically since you've come in, um, we've had like the initial ABCD meeting that brought together lots of different um, professions and organisations and establishments. Find out what their qualities are, um, find out what um, you know resources that they have and how they can help us and we can help them so that we're all working now together as a network. Um, uh, basically and um, communicating with one another what things it is that we need to help us um, to continue with the projects and stuff that we're putting in place and the consistency because of the fact that you've kept 
coming back and m continued to meet with young people, continued to share that in, a, in the second meeting that we had um, and um, share that with the rest of the people in the network. Um, those people are all coming forward and saying, yeah, we can help you with that and we can help you with this. So do you know what I mean? It really does enhance everybody's chances of actually managing to um, you know, progress in whatever project it is they're, they're working on. So, yeah, Wonderful. it's Thank been you. really helpful. And how about the, the um, project that we've done with the group of young boys here? How do you think they benefited from ABCD compared to other projects that have come into here? Um, well, the fact that they actually stuck with it mm -hmm. and didn't give up mm -hmm. um, initially is an achievement in itself. Their project was to um, raise funds um, in their area, in New Addington, and um, well, uh, basically they organised an event that would be a fundraising event to um, raise funds for that. They'd done all their own advertisements and um, prepared everything for the day, communicated to staff and said, you know, we need someone to cover the bounce castle, we need someone to cover the face paints um, and all the different activities that were provided. They made sure that, you know, it was good supervision. You know, it's given them more um, empowerment in themselves and they know that they can actually um, achieve so much more. Yeah, they, they've benefited an awful lot from that and also in confidence in their self 